Chapter 26 Magicians Not Trusted by Christians And thirdly, because after Christ's ascension into heaven, the devils put forward certain men who said that they themselves were gods, and they were not only not persecuted by you, but even deemed worthy of honors. There was a Samaritan, Simon, a native of the village called Gitto, who in the reign of Claudius Caesar and in your royal city of Rome did mighty acts of magic by virtue of the art of the devils operating in him. He was considered a god and as a god was honored by you with a statue, which statue was erected on the river Tiber between the two bridges and bore this inscription in the language of Rome, Simoni Deo Sancto, to Simon the Holy God, and almost all the Samaritans, and a few even of other nations, worship him and acknowledge him as the first God. And a woman, Helena, who went about with him at that time, and had formerly been a prostitute, they say is the first idea generated by him. And a man, Menander, also a Samaritan, of the town Caparataya, a disciple of Simon, and inspired by devils, we know to have deceived many while he was in Antioch by his magical art. He persuaded those who adhered to him that they should never die, and even now there are some living who hold this opinion of his. And there is Marcion, a man of Pontus, who is even at this day alive and teaching his disciples to believe in some other god greater than the Creator. And he, by the aid of the devils, has caused many of every nation to speak blasphemies and to deny that God is the maker of this universe and to assert that some other being greater than he has done greater works. All who take their opinions from these men are, as we before said, called Christians, just as also those who do not agree with the philosophers in their doctrines have yet in common with them the name of philosophers given to them. And whether they perpetrate those fabulous and shameful deeds, the upsetting of the lamp, and promiscuous intercourse, and eating human flesh, we know not. But we do know that they are neither persecuted nor put to death by you, at least on account of their opinions. But I have a treatise against all the heresies that have existed already composed, which, if you wish to read it, I will give you.